My name is Dr. Sonia Sofra, and I would like to thank you for inviting me at the Innovative School Aesthetic Medicine Conference in Russia. I'm very honored to be with you. I would like to speak about how we can solve the visceral fat problem that cannot be reduced with lasers or radiofrequency or any other procedure. This is the visceral fat. As you can see, it wraps itself around the organs and then it invades them. And as it invades them, it will compromise their functioning. This is the muscle, this is subcutaneous fat, and as you can see, this is the visceral fat inside, wrapped up around the organs. Here is the fatty liver. That's visceral fat that has entered the liver, and it's basically significantly compromising the function of your liver. You cannot remove it with any other technology today. However, there is a technology that was originally invented in London University that decreases visceral fat significantly from the before and after we saw a very significant de increase, decrease of visceral fat from uh, at least 99.9%. And the percentage of the fat decrease was 30.34. And this is the percentage of the decrease of the visceral fat in each subs. All of this is very significant. We also have some MRI reports from earlier studies where we can see a significant difference between the before and the after 12 treatments in the visceral fat reduction. This is two treatments, how this lady has basically her belly has lifted and also her muscle mass has significantly increased. This is another example from the Middle East, uh, Virgil Gym Middle East, that six treatments before and after very significant results, and so you can see very visible results. The origin of the technology was London University, and it was invented by the co-inventor of the pacemaker, who spent about 27 years in research. This is one of the earlier New York Times article that first published about this new effortless exercise that was invented in London University. Now, earlier than that, Dr. Colbert, another professor in London University, did a study on gene expression, and what he found is that this type of technology basically increases 250% RNA content uh, in the muscles basically of the uh, skeletal genes of slow type genes. So what it says is that with this technology it's like you are doing effortless exercise, it's like exercise, like real physical exercise, but high speed. This is some of the articles that uh, I have published uh, recently in uh, various journals like the Aesthetic Nursing and other journals that uh, are recent publications. There's another three publications that are coming up in July. Now, why is visceral fat a problem? The reason why, this is all the references that have associated visceral fat with inflammation. Inflammation is what is the reason of obesity, diabetes, of uh, cardiovascular disease, of many different disorders that basically eventually shorten our lifespan. And along with this obesity, you have the problem of cholesterol and triglycerides. And laser-like policies, when they're slimming the body, uh, the fat that releases its content into the uh, bloodstream, basically, if it's not, if it doesn't come out uh, with the exercise or some other detoxification method, then it will basically clog the arteries. And as you can see, it's not going to be as easy for the blood to flow. So it's a problem. And this is what triglycerides are inside the blood. What we found with this technology is a 99.9% from before to the after a decrease of triglycerides. And the actual percentage of decrease of triglycerides was 40.7%. And this is the individual scores of different subjects. Uh, we had 10 subjects, and they received 10 treatments. We also found that the LDL, that's the very low density lipoprotein, 
71.88% of it went down, it was reduced. A very significant result, again, 99.9% .9 of the people had this benefit. And this is the individual results. You can see some of these uh, individuals almost uh, got rid of the BLDL altogether. Why detox is very important? This is a study on detoxification. Uh, you can see the swollen knee here and how immediately the, the knee has significantly improved in only one treatment. And why is that important? It's because detox and inflammation go hand in hand. And there is another problem. The toxicity, the, the, as the fat releases its content into the bloodstream, it also releases toxins. And that toxicity interferes with hormonal balance and basically makes you more hungry because some of these hormones are appetite hormones that we're going to see in a minute. And you end up consuming more food, uh, weight gain increases, and basically toxicity will disturb hormonal balance. So basically, the reason for weight gain, one of the main reasons is toxicity. So what toxins do is they interfere with two very important appetite hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin decreases hunger, the uh, ghrelin increases it. When this is disturbed, then the hunger will increase and you're not gonna be able to lose weight. What we found with this technology is a significant decrease of leptin and ghrelin. But as you can see here, all of this uh, increase in leptin was within the normal range. And the same, similarly, the decrease in leptin was within the normal range. So basically, you're functioning at the top of your, at the peak of the normal range. And all the uh, elements that you don't want to be there are functioning at, at the bottom. Like ghrelin, for example. We did another study, 19 subjects, with the blood under the microscope. And look at this bacteria, zero. Oxidative stress, zero. Um, there was a significant separation of the red blood cells. That's very important because the blood carries oxygen, nutrients, and uh, toxins, uh, and also antibodies. And it carries toxins to the liver and, uh, and the kidneys to be excreted. And we also found for thermocyte aggregation only two minimal, these very significant results altogether. Now, toxicity interferes with metabolism, all hormones, but metabolism, that's a very, very important. That's why when you diet, you risk a plateau where you cannot lose anymore because as the fat releases toxins into the bloodstream, the toxicity interferes with the metabolism. So here is the peak T3, free T3, which is basically fast metabolism, but within the normal range. And this is at the bottom of the normal range. So you can see there's a big difference in weight gain and how your body will look if you function at the peak and if you function at the bottom of the range. Metabolism, 33 increase was up to 30%. But again, as you can see, look, everything is within the normal range. So you basically, with this technology, your free T3 climbs at the top of your normal range. Lasers do slimming, but they don't change the metabolism. And of course, they increase hunger because of the toxicity problem. And then you rebound. Here, you have fitness. You have increased metabolism and reduced hunger. Therefore, there is no rebound. What we have here is a significant increase of skeletal mass from 36.45%. Again, 99.9% of, of the people got this benefit of uh, skeletal muscle increase. And this is from MRI studies that showed a before and after a significant increase of muscle mass, skeletal muscle mass. IGF increase, again, within the normal range, but significant increase that basically explains why you see the skeletal muscle increase and validates the result that we got about the skeletal muscle um, increase. Now, what about the gym? The gym does work, but it takes a long time. 
but it works. It will reduce your visceral fat. However, if you're over 50 year old in the gym, you know because it's so intense a workout to reduce the visceral fat. What happens is that you get rid of some of the visceral fat and then you start building muscle on top of the visceral fat. So you basically are not going to get this. You're going to get this. The problem with the gym is that because, especially when you're older and you have higher uh, cortisol and lower testosterone, what happens is that when the body is straight, even with younger people, the cortisol increases. And when the cortisol increases, testosterone goes down. There is an inverse relationship that when the cortisol increases, testosterone goes down. When this happens, especially an older individual, then you're basically going to have the same problems that you have with increased cortisol, which is uh, weight gain, and you're going to have the same problems you have with low testosterone, which is uh, depression and uh, increased visceral fat and decreased muscle mass and joint pains and so on and so forth. What we found with this technology is the exact opposite. The testosterone went up, cortisol went down. Because it's effortless, you don't strain the body. So again, very significant result, 99.9% of people got the, uh, the benefit and 62.18% testosterone increase and cortisol decreased by 7.33%. Again, everything was within the normal range. This is a study from India. As you can see, the most important thing, sonography report, fatty liver before, the fatty liver after. There was no back pain. But another significant uh, result is that uh, insulin resistance went down. So the diabetic status was improved. Again, we have the same thing here. Insulin resistance decreased and the diabetic status improved. And again, no back pain. So it does help with pain because it helps with the posture. This is one treatment before and after. This, is, uh, this lady had liposuction and also lasers and all the weight went into her back. Within one treatment, we were able to see a very good difference. Uh, that's all in one treatment. This is two treatments, before and after. And then again, that's uh, one treatment, three treatments, and one treatment. You can see the muscle mass is starting developing here in this particular subject. Now, how does it work? Basically, it sends a signal to the motor nerve. This is the signal of the device. It goes into the signal of the motor nerve. As the motor nerve receives the signal, it excites it. And as the uh, motor nerve excites, is excited, it activates and awakens the motor nerve around it. And as that happens, there is a firing of the motor nerve around it, and these waves of motor nerves basically will eventually have to reach the brain because they go through the central nervous system. When they reach the brain, the brain will release hormones, IGF-1, uh, 3T3, estradiol, insulin, all of these hormones are basically going to be released into the bloodstream and they're going to go into the fat cells and release the contents of the fat cells into the bloodstream, which will eventually reach the mitochondria. As that happens, of course, the fat cells are going to start shrinking. And as that energy source is going to burn in the, to, to kind of build energy source in the mitochondria, the ATP, then you're going to have enough energy to uh, utilize all the other uh, hormones to build the muscle. And of course, there is a negative feedback mechanism, so your body is always balanced. What we have here is virtual exercise, but without the exercise. And it's 144 virtual exercises that you actually experience. And they sort of give, they're like stress and resistance and like dance exercises and aerobic exercises. And they're repeated a thousand times. And each one has eight seconds contraction. So it's a very, very different, I'm gonna show you the contraction here. You can see it's very different than a muscle stimulator that gives you like individual muscle reflexes. This is a full body contraction that happens from your brain. It's a central event, and as you can see, it lasts and you hold, you hold, you hold, and it comes in slow motion, which is a very difficult thing to do a thousand times. This is the older technology that is not as comfortable. This one is more comfortable, it's more pleasurable, 
and uh, this is a, the most recent version of this technology. Basically, one treatment is like a month in the gym, 12 treatments is like a year, and 24 is like two years, so how many treatments are you going to need? Um, it depends on your body, if you're sick, and where you're at. This is Roman Obe, he's the only one that gave us a uh, release uh, to release him from the information about him. He had a very nasty foot injury that was actually repaired and he thought he's never going to play football again. He was at the San Diego Chargers and then he did uh, continue his career. Our board uh, all around the world from Japan, United States, uh, uh, England, uh, uh, Aruba, Hong Kong, all different doctors. This is uh, some publications, earlier publications uh, from Fuck to Flat and Effortless Exercise that came, uh, that were published in different magazines in England, how the waste was won, and some, uh, this is uh, from uh, ABC, Channel 15, Fox News in the United States that they approached us, and they basically uh, wanted to do a piece on our technology and uh, they were very impressed. You can see like in one treatment, like three inches here. So it was a very impressive uh, technology. And with this, I would like to conclude my lecture. Thank you very much again.